Please like and subscribe for our channel growth. Kimmel attacks VP Pence's Christian faith at Oscars, gets nasty surprise backstage. Jimmy Kimmel's opening monologue at the 90th Academy Awards was called emasculated by critics. It stunk so badly, he decided to attack Vice President Mike Pence, using a sick homosexual pedophilia-themed movie that the Hollywood crowd just loved for its artistic value. Kimmel made a huge mistake zeroing in on Pence's Christian faith, and he got a nasty surprise backstage that he won't ever forget. Jimmy Kimmel's performance as host was so terrible, he was hesitant to make any jokes, lest it offends one of the left's protected groups, gays, blacks, transgenders, illegal immigrants, and, of course, women, no jokes about women. He came out with a kind of warning to the award winners, who would take the stage, to make sure to use the platform for positive messages. Hypocritically, he did instruct the award winners to tell Americans to join the amazing students at Parkland, in their protest coming up in Washington, D.C. Apparently, he didn't get the memo that we are so done with the overexposed CNN Parkland kids and their ridiculous anti-gun boycott of the NRA. So, Kimmel's worst jab at conservatives was a blatant attack on VP Mike Pence, and on Christians. The producers couldn't help themselves. They had to rub sick smut in the faces of those of us who are Christian, and they used Mike Pence as their poster boy to kick around. Laura Ingram's website LifeZet reported, the late night host hit all the expected talking points and managed to do so before the ceremony had even hit the 15 minute mark. Number Meto, Number Time's Up, Donald Trump, Parkland, Fox News he hit em all. Laughs were secondary to the soapbox beneath him and his desperation to be praised by the liberal media. In fact, laughs weren't even real all the time. Yep, the producers were so scared Kimmel would suck, they had an odd laugh track running, and it was obvious. The camera would pan to the audience and no one was laughing, but you could hear canned laughs. That brings us to Kimmel's direct hit at Pence, which will make you sick. Lizette adds, Kimmel also brought up the controversial Call Me By Your Name, a film nominated for Best Picture, which follows the romance between a 24-year-old man and a 17-year-old boy. The film has made peanuts at the box office compared to its fellow nominees. We don't make movies like Call Me By Your Name to make money, said Kimmel, laughing.